channel welcome if you're someone who's been here before welcome to you and thank you for coming back today it's um well it's uh, I'm, I'm gonna be <laughs> showing you all the sales that i've had since the last sales report that i did and as before it's not brilliant some of them are, are good sales but not all of them as you'll see in a minute if you've watched my videos before you know this isn't my living it's just something i do more of as a hobby if anything i go around lots of charity shops lots of stuff i keep for myself the other stuff i sell so i'll stop waffling on and i'll just show you the sales report for people who are interested in the sales report and i'll have a little chat after because i know i do waffle on a bit and some people just want to know what i've sold <laughs> not interested in anything else so i'll just start right so this is everything from the last time that i did the sales report to today so right i'll crack on so these pair of shoes here uh rachel simpson shoes i bought these in northfield a couple of months ago after it. it was a bit weird we've gone on a sunday and that's about five pairs of shoes all this brand and i never heard of them then i looked at them and it looks like they're like bridesmaidy type shoes so i think i paid four pound for them and took her off uh, for £25 and they got sold um, G GSP, G not GPS, GSP. I always get that the right, wrong way around. So they got, I got £25 for them. These Clark's Burgundy Shoes Boots even, <laughs> got £20 for them. I probably paid about a fiver for them as well, so brilliant. These, I can't see, Top Gear DVDs are probably, I think... They're like 20p each in the charity shop down the road. Got £8 for a bundle of them. This monsoon dress was actually my own dress. Believe it or not, once upon a time I could fit into a size 8. I know, yeah. So I sold this for a grand total of 3 99 because I'm literally just trying to get rid of my clothes. As you'll see in a minute because the prices get even worse. So yeah, I can't remember how much I paid for that. I know it's from the charity shop and it was brand new with the tags. And it was only a couple of quid, but I sold it for three ninety nine. So this next item here is um, a Land's End fleecy type top that again went for three ninety nine. This monsoon skirt four ninety nine. I probably lost on the clothes to be honest, but I just want rid of the clothes, so whatever I got is a bonus. Um, this the same person bought two items. I didn't realise it was the same person who bought two items until I come to pack them. So, and they didn't ask for a discount on the postage either. So, and they've left me positive feedback, so they're happy. So, um, Sense and Sensibility DVD and a book, and um, Open All Hours DVD as well. This next item sold within a few days, sold it for nine ninety nine. It's a book. It had like slight water damage on the bottom, so I didn't really want to put it on Amazon. Although I could have put in the description it was damaged. I thought I'll just put it on eBay and I can put my own photos on then to show the person. And they, they've got there. No, no feedback on that yet. So hopefully everything's okay again. This next item, another book, sold for £9.99. Uh, most of the books I seem to get for some, it's weird. Some shops sell them like a pound each and then you go to another shop and you can get like four for a pound. When I asked on the one, they were selling five books for two pounds. I said about the offer, how come your offer's on and how long? And they said basically when they get loads of books they do offers, so it's hit and miss. So this next item got cancelled. Um, did they send me? I sent the, the buyer or the watcher an offer. They accepted the offer, then they asked to cancel it. So that got cancelled. So this these next pair of trousers, Marks and Spencers, I put them on as an auction, a 99p auction. And somebody sent me an offer for a quid. I thought, you know what, just have them. <laughs> just glad to get rid of any clothes. But I don't understand this. You put it on an auction and then somebody gets a chance to buy it now. It kind of doesn't make sense in my head because I'm like, well, okay. You know one of them where you're like, oh, I was just glad to get rid of them anyway. These pair of shoes sold for £12. Clark shoes. Probably paid about four or five pounds for them. These LK Bennett shoes, I can't even remember how much I paid for them because I've had them that long, sold for £20. 
these prisoner dvds i got from the car boot remember the guy says i showed them in a haul video time and the guy says to me um you can have them for a pound so i had them for a pound <laughs> sold them for 18.99 this game sold for 10 pounds again i can't remember how much i paid because i've had it for quite a while these boots i think i shared these on a haul video again i can't remember how much i paid it must be five or six pound men's boots sold for 29.99 so proper happy with these these this is again i'm probably happy with this sale the buyer just paid full price 49.99 for these eco shoes i haven't had no feedback it says they've been delivered i haven't had no feedback yet so fingers crossed they're happy and they, they don't return them um this this was um what do you call them napkins sold for 29.99 it was one of them days, you know, when you're going around the charity shops and you can't seem to see anything you want or like or anything. And I just randomly picked these up and I think I paid £4. I just like the look of them. They're brand new, although they were old, old. Like the box was old and that. They looked like they'd never been touched. And they sold for 20 I just thought I couldn't see any like them on there. So I just made up a price of £29.99. I, I was gobsmacked. They sold for that. Oh, again proper happy with that this cost me 50p so i looked so it went for 50p it's brand new and sealed and when i looked i found similar pictures to these but couldn't find this it's that wentworth i know to look out for wentworth jigsaw and it was like about that big it was a tiny little box i put the description i didn't put the size of the box which has worried me a little bit but they've left the, yeah they've left positive feedback because i was worried they're gonna get it and think bloody hell this is tiny i ain't paying 20 quid for this and send it back but they've left positive feedback so it must have been something they were looking for and i didn't have to wait long week or two to sell that these cds we went to an indoor car boot down the road there wasn't that many people there this was a two pack singer i don't really know but i thought they were selling them free for a pound and they had loads of this artist so i thought i'd bundle them up so i bundled them up and again sold within a week for 16.99 i just made up a price yeah free for a pound and they were how many was there was it four yeah there was five of them so again and they've left they left me sent me a message saying they were really happy and happy with my the way i packed them and everything so i'm pleased with that so uh, that I, if only you could have sales like that all the time super quick these next pair of shoes Kurt, uh, Carvella sold for £15 again I can't remember how much I paid it wouldn't have been more than a fiver I don't think I try not to spend over a fiver on shoes because I'm tight this next top I think was one that I bought for my next I said next and it is, covered, it is actually a next top <coughs> excuse me sold for £4.99 bit rubbish but again like i said i just need to get rid of my clothes i'm just going to do a job lot in the end because i've still got loads this uh betsy johnson bag i bought from the shop down the road i put it as used but it was in really good condition i just didn't want to put new just in case but it was it did look new still had like you know the sticker on the, the i'm trying to point to it on the plasticky bit still had the sticker on but i did put used i got 19.99 for that this CD, uh, annual 2010, sold for £3.19. I think I had 30% um, off. Is it 30 or 20? Let me click on it, see if it shows me. One sec. Hang on, scroll down. 20% off. I've done a 20% off sale, some of my stuff. This, remember I showed you last time. Well, if you've watched my last video, you'll remember it. If you didn't, or you don't remember. Um, basically somebody wanted it before but they were on holiday and they wanted me to ship it to a Dreamfoot address but when they bought it they just literally wrote in the information you know where you put note to sellers can you ship it to this address and I said no I can only ship to the address on on the thingy or you know so refunded them while they came back off holiday they sent me a message saying could you do it at the price you did it before for the 25 pounds so I tried to send them an off no yeah sent them an offer and I think because I'd already had an offer before because I were watching it's he sent me I assume it's a man I don't know actually they sent me a message again saying it was saying it expired so I thought okay so I says what I'll do is I'll end the listing 
and relist it again as the £25 price. So I ended it, relisted it again for £25 and they bought it and they sent me a message and they're really happy with it and a photo with the other one, you know, the matching ones, like, you know, so they're really pleased with that. So because nobody else, I had two watches and nobody else had shown any interest and this person obviously really, really wanted it. I think I paid about 50p for that. But I bought a couple of plushies from the shop down the road. So these shoes, I think, again, were on the 20% sale. Just fab. Never heard of them. They were brand new, though. £14.39. These taps, they look like they were new. The box might a bit busty. I think I put that on the description. I think somebody sent me an offer for £10, so I accepted it. I don't know why I bought them. It's really random, you know, one of them random things. You're like, why have I bought that? I think it's only about two quid. I think that might have something to do with it. These Clark's men's shoes shop, shop, sold for £23.99. Probably paid about a fiver for them as well. These shoes, these bloody boomerang shoes again, sold for £17. They've sold before and got sent back and now they've been sold again. So fingers crossed they don't get sent back because I'll, I'll, I'll be gutted if they get sent back. This perfume, right? Fortunately, they've been delivered because last time I sold perfume, the bloody Hermes lost it. And then they wouldn't give me my money back because apparently it's not, you're not allowed to ship liquid or something. Anyway, sold this before, was it about a month or so ago. Could not find, lost it. Could not find it anywhere. <laughs> and the other day I was looking, I think it was that plush. I was looking for a plush upstairs in my loft. And in a bag of random plushies was this perfume. How it got in there, I really don't know. But anyway, I put it on again and it sold within probably about a week or so. So I sold that for £24.99. I think I paid £2 for that at the charity shop. Books, this book here, like I said, I've started to look into more books now because they're cheap. Made a mistake on my last video. I said that it's free. Putting books on Amazon is free. It's not free. They do charge. I can't remember how much, but... If I put my jewellery back on Amazon again, I'm going to go to the professional account again, which was £30 a month. I don't know how much it is. But because I'm just putting books on now, I have to pay individually for it. I completely forgot about that. So, I'm not... Anyway, I'll talk about that in a minute. I'll, I'll talk about Amazon and everything in a minute because I know people just want to do eh, this sales thing. And then, they, anyway, this book, uh, Will's surveying book or something, sold for £10. That was probably in my four for a four for a pound job lot. This um, CD here, Pink Floyd, sold for eight pounds. Somebody sent me an offer, so I accepted the offer. This ta um, not tape ink, out of date ink, sold for nine ninety nine. I've had it for ages. <laughs> I've got another one if anybody's interested. I'm <laughs> so pleased it finally sold. And the last item is some Kurt Geiger shoes. $15.99 so that's all my sales so yeah that's it there's not a lot is there there's not a lot at all <laughs> but some of them have been really good sales shut up on it <laughs> Get it. sales even so that's it the eco ones I'm over the moon with $49.99 for a pair of shoes I probably paid a five or four I just hope they don't come back all of my sales I'm really pleased with so that's everything right i'm going to show you some of the bits that i bought to sell if anybody's interested in that if anybody was just interested in my sales report that that's it i'm afraid so bear with me a sec i'll sort me other stuff out that i've got to resell and i'll be back in a sec so one minute the first item that i've got is a teddy it was 50p it is a um short cake bear in really good condition i did research it and i did find some information when i bought it last week and now i didn't save the information so i've just had a quick look and i can't bloody find it again so if anybody knows anything about this is it worth anything i just got, i don't know i don't know if i found it on ebay or google or what but i did find somebody else selling one and now i can't find it so i'm gonna have another look for that next item Another file of facts. Again, big thanks to Carla Jenkins. I was just watching her video before I'd done this video. She'd done a Sunday live. So I was just watching that. And then 
this is why I bought this because I watch car if you watch Carla's morning videos Sunday morning videos <laughs> she picks up stuff on Sunday's car boots and everything and this is one of the things she always picked up proper proper file of facts is not the cheapo ones and this is a proper one look it's actually it's not a very nice one I'm gonna say it's a bit brown but it was a bit more than I wanted to pay because I again like say I'm a bit tight one pound fifty it's got no pen so I haven't researched it I'm gonna have to do a bit of research to see how much that's worth but I don't think it's going to be worth much because it, it's not a particularly I wonder if brown's a desirable colour but it might be for blokes blokes like blokey colours don't they so yeah I reckon a bloke will like that so next three items is shoes now I've been avoiding shoes for weeks now because I still haven't got through my backlog of stuff in the loft bags of shoes because um, I don't know what it is with eBay just lately. I think my heart's not in it at the moment. Like, you know, so I haven't been listing stuff. That's why I haven't been selling stuff because I only put a few items of shoes on the other day. Uh, I've lost my mojo again. So I thought, right, I'll pick up some shoes. Well, I didn't mean to pick up shoes, but they were bargains, so I couldn't leave them behind. So the first item is a brand new pair of irregular choice shoes, which cost me £4. I've a, they're only like little dolly shoes so I don't think they're going to be worth much I don't know, I'm going to have to research them but uh, they were brand new and they were only £4 so I couldn't leave them behind next item again is I'm not quite sure if these no, these aren't new, they've got a bit of wear hot ass shoes and they were actually half price, £2 I can't tell if they're gold I think they're gold or after I was Liam but for two pounds again i couldn't leave them behind and these i don't know why i picked these up they're four pound fifty hotter shoes they're not new i don't i don't know why i picked hotter up again because i've literally got loads of hotter shoes up in the loft that i've got a list but it's one of them you know when you you can't find anything you're having to look around shops and nothing seems to be catching your eye so but look at this i've got a free shoe stretcher that came with it free so I don't know if they're meant to leave that in but they didn't take them out when they sold them me but yeah right so those are the, sh those are the shoes and that and I went to a jumble sale yesterday again that was, I don't know whether they hadn't advertised or what for stock but it was really bad there was hardly anything there but what I did get cost me three pounds for these and two books which are worth peanuts I'll show you in a minute upstairs downstairs do you remember that? There's like two lots of the same from series one to three, four, series uh, one to five. Basically, yeah, they are even, but they don't look at the moment. There's two lots of the same. And I've looked on Amazon and eBay and they're not worth much, literally a couple of quid. So I might bundle them up. So for them, them and these books the woman charged me three pounds so these books i didn't scan them or anything because i thought for that price it didn't worth it anyway turns out this book here uh the way it works and this thing here are worth nothing <laughs> so i might just re-donate them to the charity shop because i got them out and they're literally worth nothing so i basically paid three pounds for the dvd so I'll put them as a bundle and hopefully fingers crossed us out and I've got now I'll move this camera around so you can see some of the books that I've got now I don't know if it's gonna can you see the books is that gonna fall excuse all the mess up there but here's some books that I've got can you see them I'll show you them hang on is that round oh hang on let's get a better shot than that you don't want to see me double chin do you no <laughs> so right Amazon. I've been putting books on Amazon thinking, whoa, I'll sell these. But I've been watching other people's YouTube videos and I've come to the conclusion, and I think this is maybe a proper fact, not just my imagination. Books seem to sell more on Amazon if you're doing the FBA fulfilled by Amazon. If you're just selling them as an individual, posting them yourself. Well, as I've discovered, because I haven't sold one book on Amazon, I don't think people are interested. I'm thinking about doing FBA, but it just looks a bit hard work. You've got to put
put your own labels on then you've got to put them in a box and you've got to ship them to them and then you've got to check the ranking and then apparently they charge you storage fees if you've had it there too long and it just looks like too complicated i can i understand if you're doing it for a living it probably becomes second nature you probably don't even give it a second thought you're just in bam done gone but for someone like me at the moment who just likes simple things it just seems too much hard work <laughs> but i'm still picking up books because i thought i had a little think and i thought right okay if that book's scanning up quite good on Amazon and the Ziffy, I've been checking it on Ziffy and I'm thinking if Ziffy are offering £3 for that book, then it's obviously worth something. So I thought I might take all the books that I've got off Amazon because bugger are all sold on there anyway and put them on eBay because I've sold a couple of books on eBay. So the, like this sort of book, this one obesity code when i scan that on oh, that that wasn't a quid it was free i think it's free for a pound so but when i scanned it on amazon let me show you i'm gonna sit come on i've got me phone sorry this is gonna be a bit long oh go away right, if i try and scan it now if i scan that on amazon if i can scan the barcode that is coming up oh that looks a bit rubbish eight by 77 right but a sales ranking 7a4 can that be right i don't look right but i don't know that's really good then isn't it is that good that's good that is isn't it sales ranking i thought it's if it's a million or so under a million it's supposed to be good maybe that's a little bit of an error can you see it? where is it oh god sales ranking there what does that mean is that good or bad i thought that meant it's really good but this is what i mean i don't understand this sales ranking and all that but i thought i'll put it on ebay then <laughs> um basically offers see offers it's got used starting from 11 pound 55 with free shipping used like new to 21 pounds 02 so stuff like that i just thought give it a go but stuff like this it's got no barcode on um Cleaner more justice so if you've got the seller app you can scan it if i use that now you can scan the front of the book hang on let me scan it and that comes up i mean look at them prices there you're getting 15 pounds 22 can't see back my glasses and 28 pounds that's definitely the same one isn't it so i thought ooh, i'll put it on ebay then. <laughs> i'll put it on ebay cheaper because the fees aren't going to be as much amazon proper rip you off well they don't rip you off where they do you amazon fees are really expensive i've got two of them and this one this book this was five for two pounds in bernardo's snowdonia thing it's like a funny looking book it's a bit old but when i scan this hang on go away go on about right me no thank you so if i scan this Hang on, see if I can scan it on Amazon. Oh, it's only coming up for a fiver. <laughs> it's coming up for a fiver. I don't know if you can see. Where is it? Where does it show the price there? Five pounds. But that would go a large letter, wouldn't it? So that's going on eBay. Everything's going on eBay now because sales ranking. I don't know. This is where, again, I get confused with the sales ranking. Is that 4,000? Can you see? That's not four four dot oh six six dot four one nine is that four hundred no it's not four thousand is it is it four hundred phase this is where i don't get numbers so it's amazon's just too complicated it is and then you get stuff like this i mean that's either five five for two pounds so that's what i'm gonna do they're all going on ebay i'm gonna upgrade my shop when i get some more books i'm gonna upgrade my shop and basically go through my cupboards downstairs where I bought to put my books and that in. And I'm going to put them all on Amazon, oh, not Amazon, eBay. Keep the DVDs that sell quite well on there. But as for books, unless I'm doing FBA, which at the moment oh, it's just too hard. <laughs> it's just too complicated. Because I keep watching other people's videos and I watch people on Instagram who sell books and um, FBI seems to be the best way to sell books on there because people can get them on Prime then, can't they? And have them virtually the same day or the within the day, which obviously we can't do that when we're using Hermes and Royal Mail because 
well no they just get there when they get there don't they what am I trying to say? I couldn't even get my tongue in it. I was just about to blow out something out and then it went. What I wanted to say was, as you know, I sell on Amazon and eBay, not very well on Amazon, <laughs> but I'm saving up my money. You know, when I say I don't make a profit, the reason I don't make a profit is because every time I make a profit, I'll spend it on anything to do with me selling, like buying cupboards for my dining room, which I've got all the books in. And at the moment, I'm, I was saving up to get a big, massive, long shed at the bottom of my garden. Because at the moment, there's two knackered sheds there and the one's practically on its knees. But we've got a brick-built shed, which used to be a coal shed and a shed. And we had a new roof put on it a couple of years ago because the roof had just collapsed. And I had a bloke in yesterday to give me a quote to basically turn it into a room, an office space, so that's why this space here, I won't, fingers crossed if he gives me a decent quote, but I have a feeling they're going to come up with a silly quote. That's hopefully the plan, basically turn that into an office room and then eventually save up again for the shed to put at the bottom of the garden for my stock. So hopefully I can turn this back into a room again. That's the plan. But yesterday I nearly had heart attack when I went on to PayPal and couldn't see my balance on the app. But then I looked at the Facebook group and apparently um, PayPal was playing up and I checked this morning it was there because I nearly had a mini heart attack because I thought, where's my money? <laughs> like, you know, well, if this bloke's coming to do the doors and everything, he's going to need some money. I'll tell you what, if you're interested, I will show you my shed now. Now, bear in mind, it's an old knackered shed. So please bear that in mind. But yeah, I'm going to take the camera downstairs now and show you if you're interested and I'll tell you my plans. I've just been out and took a photo. I was going to do a little video, but I thought it looks a bit weird standing in my garden talking to the shed. <laughs> Basically, you can see the shed, it, it's knackered. We had the new roof put on it a couple of years ago because we had to because the other roof had caved in and we do have our lawnmower. But the plan is to basically, where the door and the window is, have that intermade one big window and block off the bottom half and the other window put a door in and insulate it. But it all depends on. How much it's going to cost really because i have say what you know when i say i don't make a profit on my ebay every money that i make on ebay and amazon i put back in like because i just enjoy shopping and i know i'm always going to do it and everything i buy is related to ebay and that so this room that will get well the shed that's going to be converted is just going to be my room where i'm going to have my photo set up my packing set up do these videos basically it's just going to be my ebay amazon room youtube room <laughs> you know? so that that's a plan but obviously it depends on the price and then eventually save up to get the sheds at the bottom of the garden done but it just depends on what price i mean we've had this guy in before he'd done the windows in back of our house so i know the quality of the work but if it's just going to be really expensive i might just say can you do the doors and the windows and we'll do the insulation ourselves because we insulated our old the shed at the bottom of the garden so i'm sure i'm sure me and, between me and liam i'm sure we can do it <laughs> so that's the plan so if anybody follows me on instagram they've probably already seen this quote because i pinch things off facebook because i'm not a big facebook fan i pinch things on facebook and put them on my instagram because i like really stupid jokes and this is a really stupid saying who i'd like to thank I'd like to thank my legs for supporting me. My arms for always being by my side. My fingers, I could always count on them. <laughs> so if you want to follow me on Instagram and you like really stupid quotes like that, there's loads of them. It's like this one. Donate, donate my body to science. Science, no thank you. Stupid stuff like that. And then there's a picture of a dog, Frank, there. Eating a bone. So it, if you want, like I said, if you want to follow me, it's the same username, Donna the Brummy. I don't know how to do these little stories. And when I see people put videos with little things popping, I have not got a clue how to do all that. I literally just put photos. And this is one that is actually quite true about weddings. Me, at every wedding I've been to, I'm just here for the food. Which is not far off the truth. And at buffets, right, what's happened to Valavance? Every party I've been to for the past couple of years now, volivants have been replaced by mini samosas. Now, I like mini samosas, but I like volivants as well. So, 
have they gone out of fashion? Are they going to come back in fashion? Right, and this quote here, the first rule of passive aggressive club is, and then, oh, hang on, I've read that wrong. Let me read it again. It's a hike. Can you see? The first rule of passive, passive aggression club is, you know what? Never mind, it's fine. Now, I've been told several times by Liam that I'm very passive aggressive. Now, I didn't know what passive aggressive was. Apparently, that, that's it. And I've got to admit, maybe it's true. So, <laughs> and then, just like, like I say, if you want to follow me on Instagram, that's great. That'd be brilliant. Thank you. But um, there's not going to be many re reselling stuff on there because... As you see, I don't sound much, so there's not much to talk about. So it's just silly pictures that make me laugh. So there you go. There was something else I was going to tell you. It's really annoying because sometimes I go to tell you something and then I've completely forgot. I could tell you a rude joke. Do you want to hear a rude joke? So if there's any kids watching this, I don't think... Um, I need some tissue for my nose. There's some tissue. Hang, hang on a sec. I got some more fry. Just dropped my phone. Hang up. I got some kitchen roll that I do with it. Kitchen roll with it. This joke was told to me by my sister. So if you find it rude and offensive, you can blame her. Okay? <laughs> Not my fault. So, right. It's rude. This bloke goes in for an operation and they accidentally chop his willy off, as you do. So they gave him £9,000 compensation. So not long afterwards, he went to see a specialist surgeon who can give him a new willy. So he says to him, I can give you a new willy, right? I can give you a five inch willy, the average size willy, but that's going to cost five grand. Or I can give you a nine inch willy, but that's going to cost nine grand. What would you like? Because if you have the five inch one, you've got a couple of grand to play with, like, you know. So he's like, OK. So he says, go and speak to your wife and discuss it wife was in the waiting room and see what what you both decide so anyway he goes out to the waiting room comes back and they both sit down and the surgeon says to him have you decided what you want and his wife went yeah we've decided he's like what do you want she went i want a new kitchen so yeah so if you find that rude and offensive you can blame my sister because <laughs> I just, it just took on me because I just thought, yeah, that just, that sums it up really, doesn't it? New kitchen. I have a new kitchen, thanks. Stop the willy. So anyway, what else was that? That was actually funny at the time. You know, one of them where Tina was telling me and she was like, that was, that was funny when her husband told her and she, and I told him yesterday and he's looking at me, like, all right. Oh, you know, is that passive aggressive? I suppose that could be classed as passive aggressive as well, I don't know. Yeah, I reckon it probably... Oh, it's a man-hater. Oh, you could be a man-hater. What else? So, oh, God, it's so frustrating because I keep going to want to tell you something. Have I told you about my new desk? I've got a new desk and a new setup. My niece give me... I'll turn the camera around. Do you want to have a look? I might, I might tidy the stuff around first because all the books are on there. So I'll tidy it around and show you my new setup. But as you know, like it says, when that shed gets done, this... This won't look like this then, so hang on, I'm going to tidy up and show you my new setup. I'm sitting by the door to try and give you uh, a perspective of my room, I think that's the right word. So there's my new little desk there, and that was my table that I used to have um, there. So now I've got that there by the window, and then all my shelves that I've still got to sort out because it looks like a pigsty. And I've moved, that was over there before. So I've just, basically, it feels like I've got more room. Really does, weird. I've got one extra item in here, but it feels more spacious. So by the way, if you get one of them bins from Ikea, the tops are impossible to get off. They really are. I don't know who invented that. I noticed they didn't have the picture of the sales because you know, um, in Ikea, they normally have a picture of the sales, don't they? The designers. The designer didn't put the face next to that. So that's basically the setup now that I've got now. And it's weird how it feels like I've got more space. What I meant by the bin was, you probably thought, what the hell is she on about? This bin here. You know when you go to Ikea, although I haven't noticed it just lately, my top's sliding up. They had the picture of the designer, the person who designed an item standing next to it, which is weird because they've got a table. 
and the person's like this person designed that table and I'm thinking well it's just a table <laughs> it's a bit odd anyway these bins it's gonna make me look a liar now and it's coming off really easy but trying to get the tops off them you know, see it's really hard to get the you put the top back on and it's brilliant I mean you could tip it upside down and the bloody thing works them off but trying to get the thing off it's making me look a liar now normally I struggle maybe it's because it's older now anyway yeah if anyone from ikea is watching this which they won't because why would they because <laughs> it's a reselling video sort your bloody bins out every i mean we got a large one as well and that's the same as well sort your bins out ikea it's ridiculous i know it's cheap but bloody hell anyway so that's all i've got to talk about but thank you all for listening and if you've stayed to the end thank you i'm enjoying watching problem about having a white table is it shows up every little bit I got away with it on that one but this one every little bit seems to show up I'm gonna to have to clean it I've been enjoying watching everybody else's um reselling videos and Carla's uh, bedroom update videos and all them sort of I love watching them all but last night I watched the weirdest video I've ever watched I don't know if you can call it weird maybe it's my age <laughs> it's got to be an age um generation thing person popped up on just recommended i don't know why because i hadn't been watching any makeup tutorial videos but it was a guy doing his makeup which isn't that unusual nowadays i wasn't that surprised but this guy he had no eyebrows he, i think he'd shaved his eyebrows and he was pure white face and jet black hair but his voice was so very posh and he was talking basically so like he got um it was Estee Lauder he's talking about he's going I'm trying on Estee Lauder shade ivory in 007 I'm like, all right mate <laughs> oh yeah so of course I'm curious because his voice caught my well his face at first because his pure white face and the makeup was immaculate but it was pure white but I was completely baffled by his voice it was so posh it was like somebody you know like when you watch these old um you know the historic programs where they're talking in a very posh english accent which nobody knows anyone who talks like that. so i came down watching his videos and he was basically he was going on about this makeup being perfect match for his skin i thought it's not you you next like my colour and your face was pure white I thought if you're planning to join the circus mate then you've got it bang on because it, it didn't even match his complexion at all but I gotta admit when he finished he looked immaculate there's a, no other way to describe it god knows what it looked like close up to be fair but it was like a doll's face beautiful eyelashes he'd done his, his put in eyebrows and even done like feathers it was immaculate I've, it, i mean i know there's loads and loads and loads of videos like this but the thing what caught my attention about this bloke was his voice just an amazingly posh voice so me being nosy as i am scroll down because i was watching it on my telly but i had my phone and i saw scroll down scroll down scroll down and he's got six hundred and odd thousand subscribers so obviously he's super popular and i could see why because it was just his whole mannerism was um well to me it was weird but obviously other people like that sort of stuff so i scrolled down scrolled down scrolled down to basically watch his first ever videos and his voice was completely different he talked like um he had a slight scouse accent so it started off like slight scouse accent not normal not me with my brummy accent this is my accent i don't think i could do, i don't think i could talk posh and i don't want to anyway so it started off like a normal guy doing these makeup start exactly the same pure white face and everything to this guy talking very posh very polished i don't know i just did, i didn't get it i don't i just watched him in fascinated if i'm honest because i was like i don't understand if it was an act that's what I find about I find YouTube brilliant. YouTube just amazes me that in fact they give everybody the chance to do what they want. Me, for instance, I could just talk rubbish on here and you can choose to listen to me or you can choose to 
give me a thumbs down if you want or give me a thumbs up or whatever you want but basically YouTube is everybody's chance to do what you want which years ago there was no such chance was there where, where was your opportunity before the internet to be yourself or to be somebody else which I kind of think this guy was I think it was an act because from his first videos to the one I watched last night was a totally different man apart from the makeup being absolutely brilliant personally not my cup of tea <laughs> you know because god help him when it rains if he went out like that in the rain it, it, it just wouldn't be good like you know but yeah that's what i find so fascinating about youtube and that's why i like watching other people's youtubes and i think we've all got our own little thing in with that we like you know like I, i've some videos that i watch are people who've hardly got any subscribers and i find them like fascinating and i watch them because i like the person and I think, how come you ain't got thousands of subscribers? You're amazing. <laughs> you know, you really are. And then sometimes one will crop up of somebody who's got millions of subscribers. And I don't find them interesting at all. But that's a brilliant thing about the internet, in it? There's so much choice out there. You can choose what you want to watch. You can choose what you like. If you don't like it, you don't watch it. That's why I don't agree with people who leave negative comments on other people's videos. If you don't like it, just move along. I mean, I watched somebody's video the other day. I won't mention names. It was a guy's video. It was reseller related. And somebody was putting comments on his videos about how do you find all that stuff. And basically quite negative comments towards this other person. And I was tempted to comment on it. But I thought, no. I think sometimes if you give people ammunition, then they've got more to fire back at you. But I felt like saying this to this person, I almost commented, just piss off and leave him alone, you can't, like, you know, but I just thought, no, I just, it all die its own death, sort of thing. I mean, I have had a couple of negatives on mine, and Liam is phoning me, so bear with me, I'll be back in a sec. Liam, he's on his way home soon, he's at work at the moment, so I'm going to do him a nice dinner. Uh, yeah, I've had only a couple of negative comments on my videos. And I don't even respond, I just block and delete. I ain't bothered. Just <laughs> just let it go over the head. I don't know, I mean the one, I didn't even read the full comment of it. It just went to the channel. Block and delete, move along. So yeah, so that's what I say. I just, I do like YouTube because where else would you get your opportunity? To show yourself, <laughs> you know. Maybe I'll show a bit too much and share a bit too much information. Oversharing, I know the word. But I'm like, it's just, just my little space, this is my little room and this is my little space and if people choose to watch, I'm so chuffed people, I'm gobsmacked, you lot actually choose to watch me. <laughs> but thank you mate, like I say, I watch lots of people for my own reasons, mainly, I've got to admit, it's because of the person, if I like the person, I'll watch and listen to them, no matter what they're talking about. In fact, there's this one guy from Birmingham who I watch and he talks about other YouTubers and he's really foul mouthed, he's only a young lad but he's so funny in his one liners and everything I don't even know the people that he's talking about I only watch because I just think he's hilarious so, so he's so foul mouthed, every other word is an effing word in and his little clips and everything so I just watch him because I find him entertaining same with the sound about that guy with the makeup, I was just fascinated. I weren't interested in his makeup. I was interested in him because it was just like I say, it's like the pimple videos in it. I watched them. <laughs> you know, which is a little bit sick. And where the people are pulling the beards out individually, the beard hairs. That's a bit weird as well. But sometimes you just get a bit down the rabbit hole, don't you? You find yourself watching one thing, then it goes on to another thing and then you get onto some serious videos and you're like, no, it's time for bed now. <laughs> it's not my bedtime now, it's gone a bit weird. So thank you all for watching. Thank you to everyone who's subscribed. If you want to follow me on my Instagram, well, you've seen a little clip of what I put on there. That's your type of thing. And you want to watch some more of that. That's brilliant. So if you're an eBay seller, good luck with your sales and everything. And my app with PayPal was okay this morning. So I hope all your apps are okay with PayPal. If you're an Amazon seller, fair play to you, <laughs> good luck. Especially this FBA stuff, it's way over my head. One day maybe, but at the moment too complicated. 
too complicated can't do it so thank you all for watching thank you to everyone who subscribed take care and i'll be back with another video so it might be a panland video actually because i've got a bag of panland stuff so if anybody wants to watch me panland video and see all the stuff i bought some chocolates but i've already eaten so take care bye